everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a few dump and go slow cooker recipes that have become family favorites. They are so simple and so easy and I have left a blog post below with all the recipes and information you're going to need. So let's go. And if you like this type of video and want to see more, give me a thumbs up. So first up we have garlic barbecue chicken. You will need four chicken thighs, fresh or frozen a half cup of coconut aminos or soy sauce. I'm using soy sauce because we are soy free. Also, how dirty are my countertops? Half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of raw or regular honey, and two tablespoons minced garlic. Whisk it all together. You can use a fork because we aren't fancy. And then pour everything over your chicken thighs. We're gonna cook the whole thing on low for six to eight hours. I served it with rice and steamed peas, but for some reason I didn't get the peas on the plate before I hit record. Next, we're gonna do an omelet slash quiche, whatever you wanna call it. You will need a dozen eggs and one cup shredded cheese, any type of cheese you want. I'm using Cabot because it's lactose free. Grease the bottom of your pan. I know some people love crock pot liners, but always feel guilty about using them. So I'm going to crack and whisk a dozen eggs. And pour the whole thing into my slow cooker. Next, we're going to add in our cheese and then any seasonings you want to use. Salt, pepper, garlic, basil, whatever you have lying around, you can just dump it in there and then give everything a stir. Cook it on high for two hours. And this is one of those that's just perfect for when you need to run errands in the afternoon and you want to come home to dinner. Serve with bread, fruit, or your favorite breakfast sides. Next, we have one of my absolute favorites, chicken curry. And you can completely customize this with any vegetables that you like. I started with two cubed chicken breasts and then added in two tablespoons of ginger paste and I gave everything a stir to coat the chicken. Then I peeled and cubed two sweet potatoes. and three carrots. And I cubed everything and added it into the slow cooker. I like to do this with seasonal vegetables. So sometimes I'll use bell pepper and tomatoes and sometimes I'll use fall vegetables. Then I add in a bunch of garlic. I measure with my heart and three tablespoons of curry powder. Give it all a good stir to coat your chicken and your vegetables. Then next I added in 14 ounces or one and three quarter cup of coconut milk. Cook on low for six hours. Then serve with rice and it is so good. Next I have a kid friendly meatless chili. And this one is so simple, it's dump and go for sure. It's one bag of frozen corn, one can of chickpeas, one can of black beans, one can of red beans, but these were frozen and hydrated, and then one small onion. A can of tomato sauce. and then a packet of chili seasoning. Then you're just gonna stir everything together and cook on low for eight hours. It's so good, your kids will love it. You won't miss any meat and you can serve it with fruit and cornbread. Look, I actually did clean my slow cooker and my countertops. This is just dish soap and water and it will clean anything that you ever need cleaning. Okay, finally, meatball subs. And y'all, this recipe is so stupid easy. I feel dumb for even sharing it. Dump in one whole bag of turkey meatballs. And I add in, this isn't even a full jar. It's half a jar of tomato sauce. 
Literally, it is sauce left over from another recipe. Waste not, want not, y'all. And then I just put a little water in it to get out the excess sauce. Cover and cook for eight hours on low. I paired with some roasted broccoli and we were good to go. Leave me a comment below and tell me your favorite slow cooker recipe. Also, if you are new around here, I would love for you to subscribe, hang out with us, and I will see you soon. Bye.